Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturks and what was going on here? We've got a mutiny going on, we've got the captains maybe done something a little bit shady or something, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know, thank you so much for the love and the support the series has been getting so far. It's, it's people like you that mean that I can do things like this. Um, I've been reading all your comments, I think there's some really interesting conversations coming around the game. Um, I agree with people about the, the, the supernatural level of the game. I think to an extent like the, the pocket watch just kind of starts off as this kind of gameplay mechanic and you just accept it as kind of like it's it's gameplay. It's it lets me do a thing. Whereas the whole beastie suddenly propels it into this kind of realm of supernatural. And I think that's kind of interesting how as gamers we do accept quite a lot of BS, you know, we accept a lot of stuff and we just call it, you know, oh, it's for the sake of game play. Um, so as a recap, there was a meeting about a mutiny. This gentleman was stabbed because he heard it. These two had a bit of a kerfuffle, but I don't know which one was doing the kerfuffling. They fought over a gun and one of the gentlemen has had their head blown off. Um, these guys heard it. This is Mr. Looking really concerned when the captain gibbed his best mate, um, which I believe was him. Let me, oh, I've got to remember my controls now, guys. Right. Six of us were present. Yeah. Will got shot. He's been shot. They've not been shot. They were knifed. They were clubbed. He was shot. So, I don't... I'll admit, I don't really feel like I know what's going on. And my brain feels a little bit fuzzy this morning. So this could be quite good fun trying to do some detective work. When I don't really know what I'm doing, let alone what the crew is doing. Let's get out of here um and have a look around i think i just unlocked the corpse that's being thrown overboard so we can go and have a look there in a moment but i do want to have a bit of a look around the remainder of the gun deck and um, 1807 when were settees invented when were sofas invented i don't know why that just feels really out of place i'm sure sofas were invented at this point in history but i never thought of it that way that's kind of quite jarring you know when you forget that things have probably been around longer than we think is that light oh that's light and there's the toilet my bet is it's gonna be my bet is there's going to be um, some kind of corpse in here at some point that we're going to have a look at. So the X's mean the doors are closed. And it means that I can't gain access to them. We've even got a sink though. These sinks are quite cool because they're literally, they don't actually have a bowl in them as standard. You get like typically like a wooden or a porcelain bowl. And then you would get water from wherever the water stores are on board. Put it in there. Um, and then you, know, you can take the bowl out and I don't know like throw it out the window or whatever you want to do with it So sinks did exist at this point. They just didn't have running water um, A lot of technology That we have has kind of actually come from naval stuff uh, That's one thing that I find fascinating and a lot of sayings too like in the UK We tend to like refer to food as being piping hot um, you know, when it's still fresh out the oven, it's piping hot. Um, that comes from naval tradition, again. So, old ships, maybe not quite as old as this, I don't know. Um, they had the sounding pipes, um, which were just like a network of steel pipes that run through, well not steel, but metal pipes that run through the inside of the ship. You could shout down it, and someone at the end would hear you, because that's how sound works. Um, so the idea is when it was food time, they would shout and say, you know, dinner's ready, come and get it, ding, 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 ding. Um, and if you turn up in time, your food will be warm. 
Hence, piping hot. Um, right, so we're back on the main deck. And I know there was a body supporting them, but they look so stiff. Well, you were letting go. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is interesting. So who have we got here? Got a lady. I don't know who you are, lady. I just realized I can right click to zoom in as well. I was pressing the wrong button. So we've got lady. I don't think we know anything about them yet. No, we don't know anything about them yet. Who are you? Gentleman with a fantastic beard. So we're guessing they're together? I mean, they're together now, obviously, but... Oh. You're climbing back up. Oh, no. Oh, right. Okay, so... Oh. Alright, so this clarifies where some of these people were when the mutiny conversation's going on downstairs. Um, right. I didn't even check who that person was who was getting shot. <laughs> so let's have a look. There is another body, but I'm going to ignore them for now, so... Who are you? You're the really beardy one. So you've been shot, but I don't know. Oh, are you the one? You're the one who's getting tossed overboard. And then you, I can't remember seeing your face before. So Mr. B Beardy McBirdface, because he has got, let's face it, the grandest beard of everyone. Um, you've been shot, good sir. Shot. Can't find words today. Gun by an unknown attacker by a lady. I don't know who you are, lady. I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, what we can maybe do is have a look through the manifest. Let's see. The thing is, as well, a lot of these names, I'm just presuming. You know, I'm just presuming. This is where I'm gonna to have to use my. So, Abigail, woman. Emily, woman. Um, Miss Jane Bird. Probably a woman. Just as a guess. Um, this is going to be fun because I'm going to have to... If there's any people from far away, so non-England, non essentially, I'm not going to have a clue if they're feminine names or not. So I can presume that that lady is from Europe. But I genuinely don't know. I'm going to say she's from Europe. So that means she's either the Miss. All right, let's narrow this down. So she could be Miss or she could be Emily. The fact that she's referred to as Miss Jane Bird um, is bringing up some kind of alarm bells. So I don't know if that means that she's like a young miss, like she's younger, or it's because she is from a slightly better background, or maybe she's like, because like Abigail is is married to the freaking captain, and she's not referred to as Miss Abigail. So I think maybe Miss is um, possibly widowed. So we've got Jackson and Bird. Is there anyone else here with the last name Jackson or Bird? Because that could give an indication who the other gentleman is. Or it could not. I'm guessing it's not going to. This isn't looking good for my theory. That's not looking good for my theory. I don't know who you are. Um, 
okay. Why are you skulking about? Oh, you just came down from the rigging, maybe. Or not. Why are you climbing? That's a little bit of subtle foreshadowing, isn't it? Next time you do that, Captain's gonna smack you on. This person, I'm guessing, has been stabbed, stabbed or shot. Why does it always go the most intricate, convoluted, blooming way when I know the body is there? Thank you. So just check then, is this Mr. McBeardface? Is this Mr. McBeardface? Is this Mr. Big, Mr. Big Bird? Mi ah, actually, that's the point. Can I even tell? Uh, yeah, that looks like Mr. Big Bird. That is Mr. McMurdy. Why is it not coming up with his face? I wonder about while the pocket watch is open to flip to right to the relevant page. Ah, that's handy. It's frustrating that I can't. See his face pop up. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last push. So that's Paul. Okay, so there's Paul. Oh, we got more faces. So we got really cool mustache. I can't tell who you are, lady. Are you the same lady? You're the same lady. Who are you? You're the other lady. One of the other ladies. So she's Paul. She said Paul. These guys are running up to try and help. So they're climbing up. So they must have been doing some, something about the boats. They're evacuating. They're abandoning ship. But there's only so many boats. Right, so you are Paul. I can't access my book yet. I need to wait. I need to be patient. You're Paul. You were Paul. It is weird how all these people are dead. It's kind of doing the Outer Wilds thing of... You are interacting with characters that you know for a fact have been dead for a very long time, but you kind of forget that after a while. Um, I'm going to say this is Paul. Now, that could obviously be difficult. So it says they're from Wales. They didn't have a particularly strong Welsh accent, which is fine. Not all Welshmen do have very strong accents. Um, I'm going to say that's Paul. And I'm going to say they were stabbed. Stabbed? 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 Killed. Sword. By Mr. Beardface. Wait, what? There's, there's more going on? Who have I missed? I don't know some of these people are. So Paul has been stabbed, but I'm missing something. What am I missing? I know I could just use this, but I want to try find it on my own accord first. I can see what's going on here. You have got one beaky little nose. What happened here then? I feel like I'm getting sidetracked here. But I'll go for it. We'll go with it. 
Come on. Show me where the body is. I know where the body is. But I'm going to be polite. I'm going to let Mr. Ghost face. I don't know, I'm just going to like the boat emit boat face naming convention for this episode. What happened to you? Frenchman. The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. No doubt. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. German Austrian. German slash Austrian, right? So they've had. Oh. They're missing a few parts. They mentioned something very interesting. They mentioned the Frenchman. And then apparently the Frenchman has been torn apart. So my guess is the really tattooed gentleman is the Frenchman. So you're coming up from below. Just as you. Going just as the captain's leaving, then. So the captain's leaving to go back up to the main deck. William is coming out of the. I recognize William. Uh, William's coming out of their room. I like how they're just kind of ignoring the fact that there's a gentleman bleeding to death in here. Although, to be fair, they probably have bigger fish to fry. Um. Hmm. Austrian and or German. I remember seeing a, an Austrian. At this point in history, does Germany exist like as Germany? Because I know Germany has like a really complicated history. And it's gone through several different names and fracturing and then putting back together and whatnot. So I don't know at what point it is actually Germany. So this is on the assault. Let's have a look. Could be Danish. Didn't sound Danish. Da -da 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 -da. Austria, Christon, Christian Wolf. Could be a gunner. I'm just gonna commit to it. I feel like if I don't commit to things, I'm gonna be umming and ahhing for too long. They were... Not decapitated, right? Because I think a decapitation is particularly, you know, the head. Um, Rose, where have we been where they could freeze to death? I don't know what this would count as because we haven't actually seen what happened to them. I mean, I would argue it's maybe torn apart, but it's not like the same level of torn apart as the Frenchman. You know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that would count as that. So then what I'm going to get... Right, so my, my idea of events. This happens. This upsets these two because they've just had to watch loads of people die. They obviously don't sound particularly happy about the captain. They don't believe that the captain chased off the beast so these two are going to be the mutineers or the first two mutineers anyway they were clubbed okay so i don't know what your name is and you were shot by i I think it's that one, I can't actually tell. Do they both have like tails? Can't remember who was doing the shooting. Oh no! You shot them! Because I'm pretty sure Top Hat and Tails bloke over here, he was the one who was on the floor there dying. Right? Let me go have a look. Pretty sure it was a like a tail coat that was on the floor.
What's that mean? What do the four things mean? Disappearances? What? Four wayward souls disappear during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. Okay. I don't know who these two are. There's two of the ladies. But I don't know which one's which. Right? Don't know who these are. Um, What fate befell them? I'm guessing it's just going to be unknown. Because they... They left. Quite simply, they left. They escaped. We don't know what happens to them. So we've got... Person who did have a beard. Yeah, so they shot each other. I'm gonna have to listen to that conversation again. Then the guy in here is the tailcoat gentleman. Why are some of these in much worse repair? Oh, I know why some of these are in much worse repair. These ones are actual bodies that are still here. These are the ones that I've picked up using my fancy um compass. So, the Frenchman. That's what I was doing. The Frenchman. Uh, where is the Frenchman? Genuinely can't see him on that one. Can I see them on this one? Why? Did I dream them? Am I being... Incredibly blind. I think I'm just being incredibly blind. Which one? Which one of you is torn apart? Ah! Sorry, you just look a little bit different from there. So you're French. Charles Miner? Miner? I don't know. Sorry for all the French people. I just realised I'm just, just kind of falling into doing a horrible French accent. Yeah, they're the only Frenchmen. Charles. Charles was torn apart by a terrible beastie. Sucks to be you, Charles. Where next then? Down below? Have we really finished another deck? That looks good, doesn't it? That, that, if that's a... That's a thing of things to come. What deck is this then? Is this the... This isn't the cargo deck. This is the other weird deck. It's got another name. Honestly, I should probably know by now. So we've got... We're on the all-up deck. Don't know what an all-up is. Let's have a Google. I'm going to have a Google. Because I want to know. What is an all-up deck? The all-op deck is the lowest deck in a ship immediately above the cargo hold. It is the deck or part of a deck where the cables are stowed, usually below the waterline. The word derives from the Dutch overloop, from the word overloopen. There you go. It's the lowest deck in the ship other than the cargo hold. Oh, learning something new. Um, there's a lot of blood there. There's got to be a corpse there at some point. Let's start at the bow of the ship. No, stern of the ship. We're at the stern. So we actually have a bit of... I'm not sure what we'd be storing here. Let's have a look. Does it tell us what we're storing here? No, it doesn't actually. Quite, quite interesting. So it could be any kind of rations or... I don't think it would be powder. So we've got the cables that are stored... Reminds me of a... Oh, this is very cool. Even modern ships are like a walkway like this. You usually put like on the top deck, like on the actual main deck. I'm just singing Randy Dandio in my head now. There's a line in that about the cables all being stored. Uh, let's have a look here. I think they said something about surgery being at the back. This doesn't look like a surgery. No, this is a surgery. This is a surgery. They've got the tools and stuff. All looking very medieval looking. And all their medicines and stuff. Ah. Cool. Ah. 
library. Every ship needs a library. Even if it's only a very small one. So we've got a lot more beds. This is, I think, where a majority of the crew are spending their time. More stores. Yeah, no, let me out. I did not close you. You do not have self-closing doors back in the day. I prefer it could just be the ship doing its rocking and its, uh, its thing. Curtain rails are quite cool. I'm surprised at the lack of hammocks. That's the other thing that came up in the comments. Someone brought up, and it was a good point to be fair, like the, the, the cribs aren't necessarily just cribs. It could be, you know, extra bedding, um, like a hammock. And to be fair, I think it was just for me, one of them just in particular looked quite like child sized. Um, but I have been on several like old boats like this and old ships like this, and the cribs are tiny. Beds are just small for some reason. Oh. I can see what happens to the cow. It was eaten? Let her hear. One swift. Get through the skull and stone her brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. You all right there, sir? But never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. Well, poor old girl. Poor old. So your name's Charlie. Your name is Charlie. Your name is Charlie. I hope that's not a Frenchman. Oh no. No! Oh no, that's another Charles. Charles Hirschstick. Midshipman. Cool, I can buy that. Let's see, who else are these? Why do I feel like I know your face? I don't know your face, but I have seen your face. Now, I don't know which one of these is... Who? You do have some kind of apron on. What? So you could be the surgeon. Could be the surgeon or the... To be fair, could be a meal. One of these could be a meal. Because there, there was definitely an accent exploded. That's that's all I know about them. Hmm. There's more going on here though, so I need to go and investigate. I I think one of them's the Irishman, but I could not tell you who. My gut is telling me it's the. Oh. 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 My gut is telling me that it's, um... Apron guy. I'm really doing well with words. This is what I get for trying to record early in the morning. So a bitter cold. This is very early on in the journey. If they're having to kill their cattle at this point in the journey... Take him to the carpenters. Okay, so... These are the Formosan royalty. I remember seeing that picture. We got one of the Formosan guards. So you guys did tell me where Formosa was, and now I can't remember. Somewhere in Asia. I can't remember which bit of Asia it was. I want to say Shanghai or Singapore or some way that on... I'll read the comment again after this, I just can't remember. You've got a monkey! You're the monkey man! Who are you? I want a pet monkey! Oh, you're my new- you're the monkey man. A little bit of monkey business. Um. 
don't know who you are don't know who you are but you've got a very interesting hat you've got a very interesting hat that's giving me either middle east or just like eastern could be persian you could be the persian maybe I was going to say, it kind of almost looks like um, hats that you find like in southeastern kind of Russian territories or like northern Asia at least. And I know it wants me to do my thing. Ah, I know you may be the surgeon. You could be a surgeon. What are you doing? Are you, have you lost, lost your glasses? I'm going to say you're the surgeon. You don't have sufficient information. But he's in the surgery. And he's jacked as all hell. Surgeons. Right, so nowadays you think of a surgeon, you think of like a very, you know, intelligent, delicate individual with great finesse and control and whatever. Surgeons back in the day, right? You were a good surgeon. If you were really bloody strong, so you could cut through stuff, namely bone. There was a guy um, who's very famous in the UK for being one of the quickest surgeons, and I, I think it's the only surgeon in history to have a 300% mortality rate in a, an operation, because they killed the guy they were doing the surgery on, which was normal, killed someone in the audience, and I feel like someone else was killed as well. Multiple people died at one person's surgery, um, which I think is quite funny. Anyway, enough about surgery. We need to find out why this person is being taken to the carpenters. Oh, I know why they're taken to the carpenter, so they can get a casket. Imagine that, you've died, and the first thing that's going to happen to you is... They're just going to haul your body up to the carpenters to get you measured up. At least they're getting a casket at this point in the journey. Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease, lung consumption. Made worse by the cold. Did it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it out of the last house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. Doesn't sound good. Okay, no, you're... Uh, which one is... Oh, no, okay. No, there's more than one of you who could be a surgeon. You're the monkey... Are you the monkey man? I feel like you were the monkey man. So you died to... Well, I'm guessing to be TB. Oh my god, your nose is also incredible. Do you have a brother? Do you have a brother? So Evans or Wallace? Who was the other one? There was someone else. Evans and Wallace. Evans and Wallace. Evans. Wallace. No, just two people with big noses. I thought I could be really clever then. I thought I could be really, really clever then. One of you's a surgeon, and now I don't know which one's a surgeon, which one's a surgeon's apprentice. I'm going to say you're the surgeon purely because you are older. Which means you're probably a lot more... experienced. And then because of that, I'm going to say you are the surgeon's mate. Right? That's what I'm going to say. You are Martin. 
don't know who you are, but you... I know I don't know the person's identity, but I can at least tell you... Oh, same as the other one, so whoever's in that one also died to lung disease. I think, anyway. This corpse was moved post-mortem. Who is this and how did they die? I don't know who they are, but I know they expired uh, illness. Now I've got to find out what happened to this other corpse. So again, I'm thinking you're either Persian or like North Asian. I know that's a really big kind of discrepancy. Oh, I forgot about all these kind of hidden passages that I need to inspect as well. Ah! Meanwhile, the foremost in royalty is just watching these guys come down with TV. I'm so sorry. TB must be an awful way to go. TB isn't even what kills you. The TB doesn't kill you. It's your body that kills you. Which seems to be a recurring theme for illness. Most of the a lot of the time, it's actually your body that issues the final straw. Now, who are you? I'm guessing you did die to lung disease as well. Russian. Right, I was right there. So this one is Persian. Oh no, are you Persian? No, I can't tell. Couldn't tell if that's a cap that they've got on. I think he might be Persian. Oh, I'm really struggling to tell. One of you is Russian and one of you. The guy in there, you're one of the Russians. Um, you're one of, let's have a look. So one of them was saying like C Ed. I don't think there is a C Ed. Maybe that was just a word that I don't understand. But it's almost likely a word that I just don't understand. I can't remember if they said a name then. Did they just say a name? I might have to rewatch this one back. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to rewatch this one back. These guys are going, what the heck? Oh yeah, Birdie McBirdface. You tried to stab a woman. You're another shady looking fellow. Oh, there's two Birdie McBirdfaces. They're multiplying! Right. So this one, judging by... The surgeon's notes, they also succumbed to illness. And they're one of the Russians. I don't think there's any more bodies in here. I'm guessing these guys are all sleeping on their shift. Yeah, they're all sleeping. So they do have hammocks, which is cool. Ah, we've got another another person. Hey then, this is quite quite interesting. So I'm I'm thinking most of these guys over here are like from the Russian or like Persian descent. Maybe they've kind of segregated them, which isn't ideal. But back in the day, they would have kind of kept together, I guess. Especially on a ship, you try you tend to kind of stick with people that you know, so you've got a little bit of home, I guess. I wonder what cold got to them. 
Maybe the Bay of Biscay? I mean, this is only part two, so I'm guessing it was like the Bay of Biscay, like, off the coast of France. So, like, th this area over here, like, the Bay of Biscay and, like, the Atlantic can be pretty, pretty gnarly. So, depending what time they set off from the UK, it could maybe be a case of they got caught out in the cold, and then if they've been working out on deck, it would get cold. You know, it doesn't have to be absolute negative temperatures. I just need to... There we go. Sayed. Okay, these two are the Russians, I think. The ones who are still in bed. The fact that this guy is really... This one's the Persian. I'm going to say this one's the Persian. You're going to be Omid. We didn't actually hear this person speak. I think they could be one of the unknown people, because they they're definitely the other Persian is like the the other Persian. The Persian is definitely saying to this guy, Sayed, you know, like get up. Um, so that's his name. So what I think, all these are kind of largely bunched together, right? Or like by rank, anyway. The fact that these two are sharing bunks. There's one unknown. I think this might be an unknown topman. And then the other two are the Russians, but I can't tell you who's who. I'm going to go... I'm going to say they're, they're the other topman, because they're hanging out together, right? And then these are some of the Russians. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I feel like I've made some progress. I feel like I've kind of... Getting some ideas down. Okay. Cool. Sorry, that just looks like they're falling down the stairs now. Help! Um. Cool. Right. We've still got the rest of this deck to explore, really. We've not made much progress whatsoever through this deck, so we're going to look into that next time. I'm still loving this freaking game. It makes me so happy. Um, Not watching people die. That's not exactly making me particularly jubilant in any kind of way but this is good fun i'm enjoying this thank you so much for watching i hope you've been enjoying as well we are absolutely rocketing as a community and i love to see it so thank you thank you for the love i will continue to keep making stuff like this just for you and everyone else who turns up um thank you all though so much for watching as always i have been sterx you guys have just been incredible and i will catch you all later for the next part of our little adventure